Hello, this is lecture number 4, Electro-Pneumatics. Under Electro-Pneumatics, this topic is counters, how the counters are working and the basic concept of counters and we will take one particular industrial application by using counter. Okay. The question is, the question is, Very interesting question. Draw pneumatic electro pneumatic. Draw electro pneumatic circuit for for A plus and A minus four times. A plus and A minus four times. After four times. Okay, so how to reset? There are two type of resetting. The one is, the one is uh, by using manual resetting of counter by manual, by manual paddle switch, paddle switch by using like we can control or by hand paddle switch spring guitar and second one is the automatic resetting resetting of counter by timer and cycle will continue after 10 seconds after 10 seconds very interesting sometimes we don't know exactly how much time will require for second cycle then we will go for manually resetting otherwise we know that for second cycle in between first cycle and second cycle only 10 seconds 20 seconds is required then we will do everything is automatic B bit so first I will draw a pneumatic circuit solution I draw a pneumatic circuit we know for a pneumatic circuit the piston is required piston and cylinder this is called actuator the S1 is a sensor S2 is a sensor read sensor or a magnetic sensor or a proximity sensor then the 5 by Two valve is required to control the motion of the piston and cylinder. This is a symbol of solenoid wall. This is A plus, this is A minus. So definitely there is a compressor is required and here the motor is required, two mufflers, exhausts and here this is a basic pneumatic circuit this is called pneumatic circuit how to interface the electric to the pneumatic circuit by using relay otherwise by using solenoid wall these two are the outputs these two are the inputs s1 and s2 ok so i'll start the Uh, what electric logic I'll start the electric logic fine so first I'll solve by a bit when it is at s1 when it is at s1 a plus should on when it is at s1 s1 a plus should on a plus means what solenoid Without really I am using directly I, I am controlling that is called A plus. This is a symbol of solenoid A plus A plus. When it goes to S2, the counter has to count how many times the piston has come. So when it goes to S2, the counter, this is a symbol of counter, this is a symbol of counter. 
the counter has to count say for example see you can give any name it counts the pulses okay so now when it counts here and also it has to come back a minus and also a when it reaches to s2 that is a minus this is a symbol second solenoid when it goes to when it is at s1 it goes to s2 at s2 there are two tasks one is counter as to counting i'll set suppose uh, in this case four times so that i'll set four suppose if it is a six i'll set as a six first i'll set the counter four times after four after four counting the counter is on counter is on then it has to stop here it has to stop here resetting of counter by manual so piston has to stop here means here i use a normally closed counter counter will on logic switch this is called logic switch the when the counter is on it is open then even at the s1 the solenoid valve is not working this is important and how to reset this reset button is here how to start the counter next time otherwise how to start the second cycle by using by using what the by using the spring return push button so there is called paddle switch ps ps is called paddle switch and it is a spring return also spring return as soon as you press by leg or hand and leave it then second cycle will start so this is called electric ladder electric ladder so i'll explain once again how it works the first the piston is s1 so it closes it closes means current is flowing at a plus when a plus is on here a plus is on the piston goes to s2 when piston goes to s2 you see here it closes the counter becomes one the counter counts one and the s yes, due to at s2 a minus it comes back and once again it goes here it counts two counter and comes back when it goes here three comes back and when it goes to four exactly when it goes to four then when it comes back the c will on the counter will on then automatically this will open so here the current is break here the switch has break so that the a plus is not on at any cost even a s1 is on but a uh, a plus is not on the, the piston is rest here delay here then what you have to do to start a second cycle you know that here i can uh, remove the workpiece i'll put a new workpiece then manually just you press it if you press it then and one more thing here the thing is required when it press it then the c will be off the counter will off after resetting after resetting the counter will be off then automatically it is spring return it closes it closes means what it closes means what then second cycle will start this is the way the circuit works okay so i'll go for b bit i'll go for b bit that is what automatic resetting of counter instead of manually instead of paddle switch i'll uh, reset uh, reset by using timer on delay timer okay here slight change here there is slight change here instead of this a b bit i'll go for b bit here the timer is required delay on delay timer so i'll add here the on delay timer will start when 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 the counter starts after counting four when the when the piston is delay here when the piston is delay here now at that moment the what happened the on delay timer this is a symbol of on delay timer this is a symbol of on delay timer this is t this t so when the counter is on when the piston stops here then the on delay timer will start but on after whatever the 10 second 10 second so t i'll write here here i'll write 10 after 10 second this is on this is on means what it is resetting resetting means what 
counter will off and counter will off so here also off the timer will off and here also this is initially it was open when the counter was on now it closes the second cycle starts here resetting by timer resetting by on delay timer everything will be automatic so goes to 1 2 3 4 stops it stops for how many second 10 second after 10 second 1 2 3 4 then it stops 10 second so like this so everything is automatic for b bit okay i'll show this by the software with the animation so that you can understand in a better manner Okay, here 24 volt DC, 0 volt DCB. Okay, I'll show on the PC. Now, you see here already I have drawn the uh, basic circuit basic pneumatic these two are the exhaust this is the now the pressure here goes to this side you can set the flow also instead of thousand i can set say 10 okay if the flow rate is less and the velocity will be less s1 and s2 instead of s1 and s2 i'll write here a plus first solenoid and a minus second solenoid okay here electro pneumatic i'll draw so when the switch when the switch s1 is on already it is on already it is on when it is s1 when it is s1 now the solenoid wall this is a symbol of solenoid wall this is a symbol of solenoid wall the so solenoid wall and here this is a plus but after a plus should be off a plus should be off after four times so that I'll go for when it goes to S2 when it goes to S2 this is called S2 when the piston after A plus is on then it goes to S2 S2 there are two tasks it has to do a two task one is counting the symbol of counting already I have drawn on the board this is a counting and zero volt is required output and here I'll set counting is how much in the problem he has mentioned 4 you can set whatever your requirement and this is a reset button okay then one more thing it has, it has to do s2 when it is at the s2 when it is at the s2 one more so it has to come back a, a minus it has to come back so a minus this is the solenoid a minus returning okay but reset is required resetting is required when uh, so first a bit is by manually by push button by push button that is called paddle switch that is called paddle switch so paddle switch this when it resetting the counter will be off off and starts for next cycle the instead of okay now you see how it works so i'll go for animation one two three four okay i have, i have set i have because i have not given the interlocking even it is after four also it is moving why because it has to stop here so i'll give a plus solenoid should stop stop after when the counter is on the counter is on so that initially normally closed i have to used normally closed i have, I have to use this is called c this is called c okay counter when the counter is on this switch is open instead of five i'll write how much four counting should be four and name of this counter is c name of this counter is c Now you see it is working properly. Okay, fine. Now 
1 2 3 4 okay then okay uh, manually i am resetting the counter will be reset and automatically will get 4 here now it is on it, this arrow is showing on counter is on so now if i reset this okay once again the second cycle will start manually resetting i am doing manually resetting you are understanding in a better manner okay now second b bit i'll go for what automatic resetting here instead of ps i'll go for timer so timer will on after timer will on after after the when the counter is on so that i'll give the input is counter c the on delay timer this is a symbol of on delay timer okay and then and the, this timer is t you have to give a name because already here here you have to make a switch so this switch will be on or a close when the on delay timer is on t now the output here but here the timer name already you are given t here this so this is a second bit it covers the entire thing just you see here how it works now i'll start here one two three four and and it stops for how many seconds how many seconds you have set five seconds you can set 10 seconds also okay okay five seconds now if you change the time suppose if you set a 10 second it will stop for 10 seconds one two three four four and ten seconds the timer has started just you see that counting down counting of time when it is zero then the counter will be off then when the counter will be off this will also off the timer will off okay so initially timer off the counter then counter off the timer and automatically closes then a plus will start so this is how the counters and yeah and the interlocking of counter as well as timer also okay so i hope you understand thank you